Dr. Hood and go together. What a great time you have there. You can take your uh, cooler, if you wish, to get on board. And if you have guests coming in, what a wonderful way to show off our Christmas lighting here is to bring your guests along on these cruises. They're not expensive, and I'll tell you, you will, if you haven't seen it, Take my word for it, you will be absolutely thrilled by the lightning in the canals when you see them from a boat. And the name is Tim Fisher. They do all of the cruises out of here, and they do a fabulous, fabulous yes, job. They do. Really, when you have guests coming in, that is going to be a, that should be number one after say hello. <laughs> say we've got a great treat for you, yeah. and you will love it. They do it every hour. King Fisher operates out of Fisherman's Village award-winning marina. Did you know that Fisherman's Village won Small Marina of the Year in the entire country? Very, very proud of them in our marina. And the marina at this time of year, we see our seasonal residents coming in, and they're called little boards. So our marina gets very full of people coming from the north and, and sail down in their boats. Uh, so they become a little community all into themselves. You know what I also want to talk about? Our New Year's Eve celebration. Do it. Yeah, Fisherman's Village is a, it is kid friendly. We have lots of events going on uh, on New Year's Eve. We have a great band, uh, lots to do for kids, and it's going to be an exciting night. New Year's Eve, and you can come and watch the dolphin drop. It's not a ball. Like in New York, it's a dolphin here. So we drop the dolphin at uh, 12 midnight, and it is just a great time. How does a dolphin feel when he gets dropped? Oh, he's okay. <laughs> That's good, Charlie. I love your dolphins coming in in the driveway here. Yeah. The dolphins are great. You're lighting, and you have a, a nice display now out in the lake, a little lake area coming yeah. in on, on the port side of your car as you're coming in. Every year we try to do a little something to add. I think my maintenance guys are going to kill me because I keep adding it adding more stuff, but it's always very, very beautiful. We have a dockmaster here at the marina. You've seen all of the really super boats at the marina. Yes. And the dockmaster, uh, Jim Branch, Jim Branch is a, he's a great guy. He's won all kinds of awards for this marina. He's got the Clean Water Award now that they've done such a fantastic job. It was rebuilt, what, four or five years ago? Yes. And Jim was really uh, involved in that entire building. He's going from Micronesia, yes. so he knows Guam. what clean water is all yes. about, right? He is from Guam and worked for the Department of Environmental Protection in Guam, so I, I'm very lucky to have him. He tells a funny story about being on television in Guam in that area, a little island, a tiny little island about 30 years ago. When they had a weather alert, what they would do is they run into the television studio, he'd turn on a transmitter, one guy, he'd turn on a camera, he'd stand in front of the camera and read it, and then he'd go back and turn off the transmitter, he goes, you gotta say. Yeah. That's almost, that's almost like SNN. <laughs> SNN might come up to that someday. Well, it looks like the boats are coming over the water. If you all look to your right, you can see them leaving Edgewater, and they're going to be going across the harbor, and they'll go into the canals, turn around, and then come by here at Fisherman's Village, and then make their way on to Lashley Park. But it looks like a lot. Boy, they're lit up. Oh, I think we're going to see a glorious lighted parade tonight. I think it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I think so too. The wind's lying down and nice, so they're coming across nice and slow to five knot speed, stretching out. Um, they'll be heading into the Isle of Jacques Club here in a few minutes. I wanted to bring up also about the Fisherman's Village here, the Green, their Green Marina. They're one of the first here in the state of Florida to get that award. It's a very tough thing to do. Um, that they have to keep track of every oily rag, every drop of fuel. There's actually no spillage. The pump-out service for the boats. Oh, yeah. look what we got here. We don't have, uh, it looks like kayaks. Well, let's give them a big hand. Look at this. It's a mini parade. A, a kayak parade. It's a kayak parade. Well, right. don't, don't you guys look cute? <laughs> Look out, he's passing you over on your starboard side there. <laughs> Let's give them a big hand. Do I see another little round man with a red suit in one of those kayaks? 
don't know how he fit in that kayak. Hello again. That must be one of the helpers there, but Santa was here before, and I don't think he would fit in that kayak. <laughs> I bet you don't see this up north very often. Oh, that would be ice then, wouldn't it? Well, the water is... And that's exactly how the water looks in the canals. Everything is just multiplied by a factor two or three because of the reflection in the water. It really looks great. And as mentioned, they've been doing those... Uh, Christmas Canal Cruises for 30 years. They leave at 6, 7.30, and 9 o'clock. So on your way out tonight, stop by Kingfisher and book your reservations. You will not be disappointed. By a focal answer, let me ask you, how many people that are in the crowd tonight actually live here in Charlotte County? Yeah. And you love it, right? <laughs> How many people are visiting tonight? We are so proud to have you here, and we welcome you in. We call you snowbirds, snowbirds a lot of them, but we do so affectionately, okay? We love you to come down here. Yes, it gets crowded and all that, but you know what? It's a wonderful opportunity for us to meet our friends from the north when they come down. Our Rotary Club was always so great because in the winter it became... A un it became an international club. We had people from Canada here. We had people from New Hampshire. And we even had people from the country of Georgia. <laughs> so, and anyway, so welcome everybody and welcome to Charlotte County. We just absolutely try to do our very best to make this feel like home to people not only who live here, but people who visit. Well, certainly our weather tonight is... Not a northern weather. Chamber of it, Commerce. Yes, yeah, it is a Chamber of Commerce evening tonight. And uh, you can certainly take a picture of yourself with your phone and send it off saying you're enjoying a Florida boat parade. I'm sure they'll love you for that. John Wright is the Chamber of Commerce, the Punta Gorda Chamber of Commerce president, so I guess you'd have to say, this is the right weather tonight. That was pretty corny, wasn't it? <laughs> it's okay, you can be corny. Okay, good, good. If you, if you look, uh, Paul, look across the way at uh, some of the condos out there, these lights are really starting to look great. Now, if you can imagine yourself, if you see all the bright lights on the Christmas lights on the condos out there, if you can imagine yourself 10 feet away from that in the boat that's going by, you've got to say, this is cool. Yep, there's no place like it. Punta Gorda is the only place that has two lighted Christmas parades. There's one this evening, and then next Saturday evening, in the PGI Canal System, there is a, another boat parade that actually have more boats in it than this, believe it or not. So you can get kind of the double whammy. You can get see some of the lights. Uh, if you can wrangle a ride on one of the boats, a friend or a neighbor, you should definitely take that opportunity. I'm really trying to think of the uh, website for that because there's a map. I think it's PuntaGordaBoatParade.com. That's it, Charlie. And, you know, for visitors who don't live in the aisles, the people in the aisles invite you to come out. There are something like 23 or 28 different lots that are not marked, no trespassing, right? And they're shown on this website, PuntaGordaBoatParade.com. And people come out and bring their... <laughs> They bring their the grills and they cook and yeah. they spend the whole day tailgating. Yeah. And they're 10 feet for the boat when they go by, right? That's one thing that's really nice. Here we're going to be close. We're fortunate enough to be here at Christmas Village where you're really going to get to see the boats up close. Uh, in the canal system, it's even closer. You can reach out and touch them. We certainly invite you to come by here every year at Fisherman's Village and enjoy the inaugural boat parade. 22 years going 22 on right years, now. 22 years, yeah. And if you happen to be thirsty right now, I know one of our newest tenants, uh, Sweet Treasures, he's holding his glass up there. He's selling cold drinks and beer and uh, some other stuff in there. So if you're so inclined, and feel thirsty and want to support a local merchant, please go on by. Uh, do you do uh, mobile service? <laughs> do you do mobile service? <laughs> okay. Well, you know, we talk a lot. One does get thirsty. Yes, right? yes. 
But did you know that our oyster bar, which is right uh, the blue building here, they've been here for 30 years, and as well as Smugglers, Harpoon Harry's, and Captain's Table have been here for 30 years. We have many merchants that have been here for that long. So, um, and they're all very much community minded. They are. You know about the uh, the oyster bar that you're talking about, the Debbie who owns the oyster bar. Best steak in town. What a fabulous, fabulous uh, chef they've got there. Bill does a great job, but she has kept her staff like 22, 23 yes, years. So you got to know, Debbie's treating them right over there. I promise you, when you go over there to dine, you can either eat in the front part, that's where the locals eat, or you can eat in the back, which is a beautiful dining area overlooking the harbor. Same great food, same great drinks, and Roddy, the same great bartender. Oh, absolutely. They have the best steaks in town, bar none, all hand cut. And uh, very delicious, very delicious. And Sue from the Fish Market, who is a sponsor of this parade, they were rated number one seafood in, the, in uh, Charlotte County. So. Absolutely. Yeah. You've got to try their New England uh, chowder, New England clam chowder. It is absolutely great. And they have uh, fish and chips specials on Monday. They, what's neat about that restaurant is that you can get a smaller type of luncheon portion or a larger dinner than are there. I know a couple of airline pilots. They want to serve their community, they're retired, and they go to the police department, they go out of the boats, and they help volunteer. And I, our former mayor is one of those volunteers. He is, he's a dude. He was directed to the police boat. There we go. Speaking about the uh, Marine uh, patrols here and the volunteers on that, as well as the officers. First, at 5.30 is a tuba Christmas. And when I first heard tuba, we're going to come to Fisherman's Village and play, I thought a tuba, what kind of music is that? Well, I will tell you, they play the most beautiful music. So on the 21st, if you want something to do, again, free entertainment, on the 21st at 5.30, come on out, make reservations in one of our restaurants, and sit and listen to the beautiful sounds of the tuba. It, it is uh, probably about 20 tubas come. Very beautiful. Many, many wonderful sea grasses and wonderful uh, fish. And uh, if you've never before uh, in Charlotte Harbor, you, it really is a must. You get tarpon, you get snook, you get redfish, and some pretty big tarpon, let me tell you. You bet, and the Kingfisher uh, not only does cruises, but they do fishing for you. They do fishing uh, in the flats, they'll go out into the Gulf with you, so if you're looking for fishing, you got it all right here at Fisherman's Village. I see we're building our crowd here a little bit, that's great. Thank you. Because it's uh, the little hill colored drops of the sprinkle that we had before. I see you have a more light, another painted, and uh, that's always good news. I, I was a little worried about 1 o'clock this morning when that wind was blowing, but it came down quite nice, and I was a little worried with the rain, and that's what we're going to get in nowhere. I know, I told you it's the right weather. Exactly. <laughs> Is it dirty? And the answer is, uh, we don't have the pretty blue water, but we've got, okay. our water comes down the Peace River and down Shell Creek, and what happens is it drains through all the, the upper ends of the Everglades, essentially, so it's picking up what's called tan gossip. So it's got the brown water, but it's perfectly fine, and many times it's clear enough you can see the water. Yes, indeed. Chamber of Commerce. You, if, if you want to go in there and take a look at what that's all about, you don't have to own a boat to be a member of the Isles Yacht Club. You don't have to live in one of our Isles to be a member of the Yacht Club. You only have to meet some of the friendliest folks in town that have all kinds of things going on and who give back a lot to the community. They're going to have an open house. What is today, Sunday? Sunday, yeah, next Sunday. Next Sunday, an open house at the Isles Yacht Club with, with hors d'oeuvres and uh, maybe a, a drink or two for you to stop on by and see what happens over there at the club. Next Sunday, between 2 and 5, at the Isles Yacht Club, a member of the Punta Gorda Chamber of Commerce. Everybody likes fudge. 
Well, in our first section on the right-hand side, we got Beach Bum Fudge. And not only did they open Beach Bum Fudge, they also opened Beach Bum Sweet Shop. We also have a new new owners of our Sweet Treasures as our Florida wine, and they also sell beer as well. And uh, they do tastings of Florida wine. And we have new olive oil and balsamic vinegar right across the way here, which I tell you, I'm a cook, Charlie. I like that balsamic vinegar. And by the way, your coffee shop down there is great, too. Uh, he's an ornery guy. He is an ornery guy. <laughs> but that, that's the name. Right, the ornery added to coffee. And he brews, he not only brews the coffee there, he roasts his own beans there. He doesn't grow the beans, he roasts the beans. Well, all right. Well, if you're looking for a great cup of coffee, that's a good place to be. And they're open for breakfast in the morning, as is the Italian restaurant on the front. Yes. Uh, Bella, Luna. Right in here. Bella Luna. And if you, did, if you thought that Fisherman's Village was just for tourists, you're sadly mistaken. Uh, we have wonderful, uh, wonderful shops here that carry brand names, Sperry, Brighton, Vera Bradley. Did you know that Vera Bradley, if you want to get a Vera Bradley, Charlotte County is in Charlotte County. Palms on the Pier is the only place you can get a Vera Bradley bag. It seems as though everyone's got a boat, and everybody really gets the holiday spirit around here in Southwest Florida, and that's why it's so great to, to live here. I was talking with some people at a restaurant this morning, and we, a bunch of us had come from the New Jersey area. Anybody from New Jersey here tonight? All right, I bet you're glad you're here. Then I'm going to ask the question, any Canadians? Yes! I'm a Canadian by birth. Was that a yay or an A? No, I'm, I'm American now. I go, huh? A? <laughs> huh, y'all? <laughs> Southern American here, right? Yeah. We're talking with some big people from, uh, from uh, Long Beach Island today. That's up in the New Jersey area. A wonderful place. Uh, we get up there a chance right after right after Labor Day. My brother has a place up there. And it's great because all the people from New York are gone. And you have the beach to yourself and it's really super. But they said it was a wonderful place to live, but not as nice as here in Charlotte County. And I agree. Anybody a fan of Charlotte County? Let's hear it for you tonight. You are beautiful. And here comes some flashing uh, lights, uh, red and blue, that you really don't ever want to see behind your car as you're going down the road. Or your boat. Right, or your boat. I don't know whether this is the Pentagon Police Marine or whether it's the sheriff, but maybe the sheriff, I think they went around. Well, that's, that's probably the Pentagon. They like to flash their lights. We're very flashy in Pentagon. Flash the lights and let's hear the siren, right? All right. <laughs> Finest there, and here they come around the bay, ladies and gentlemen. Coming, coming into the turn and down a home stretch. That's Officer Kennedy on there. At least I think that's Officer. Ke Is it Officer Kennedy? Oh, Officer Kennedy and First Mate Tom Leclaire. Tom McAleer. Mac, oh sorry. Yeah. Split between two counties, Sarasota and Charlotte County. Village Fish Market, we talked about them before. They are so community oriented. Uh, it's just a fantastic job that they do. And I see, uh, I see the name Clear Channel Radio down there. Let me invite you to join me Monday through Friday in the morning at 104.9. Uh, we're playing Christmas music right now, and we'll be playing that right up through the 25th. And then after that, we'll be back to our regular kind of music that everybody seems to enjoy so well. 
Anyway, Monday through Friday from 7 until 10, yours truly, Charlie Shoe, will be talking to you and occupying your ears, I hope. We have so many occupations and occupying things, we might as well occupy your ears as well, right? To let us know that we're on patrol. Uh, looking on board, you see there in uniform, the same uniform as the Coast Guard active duty men wear. You all have the PFPs on tonight, as everybody should.